uh, I think I think that question was to Sean and and Frank is also there but Frank you want to say something there did you want to intervene because I I do so strongly want to intervene to what Sean Monaghan said there from Washington uh, can I respond to him because he keeps bringing up the point about India uh, and while this is a completely private network it's India's largest network uh, we we the government of India's position is its own but I want to say something Sean in response may I Please. Thank you. Sean, you know, I, I've been saying this, that today the West is trying to chastise the world's largest democracy, India, and sermonizing that this is the stand India should take and that is the stand India should take. And I'd like to tell you, we have taken a stand. We are not going to fight a battle with Russia. That is a Western creation. This is a creation of the West. We are abstaining. We did not cause this war, Sean. We did not cause this war. And we will look out for ourselves, Because don't you for a moment think that we have forgotten history, Sean. I'd like to remind you uh, that, that the UK and the US moved a joint resolution in the UN Security Council deploring the use of force by India in Goa, Daman and Diu when we were liberating Goa. And it was the USSR at that time that vetoed it. And let me also tell you, I don't forget 1971. The U.S. tried to actively harm my country in 1971, where after Pakistan, uh, you know, launched Operation Chengiz Khan against India. It was the U.S. that rallied with Pakistan and dispatched a 10-ship naval task force, the U.S. task force, from the 7th Fleet of the South Vietnam into the Bay of Bengal. And we still won in Bangladesh. So please, we cannot trust the Americans. We should never completely trust the Americans. Now for the British, because, Sean, you're British. I, I, I think it's a great country. I love Great Britain. But my question here is very simple. We cannot forget how in 1971, the UK dispatched its aircraft carrier, HMS Eagle, into the Arabian Sea to bolster Pakistan and then retreated after the Russian fleet was spotted. So no, I do not forget my country's history. And, and you tried to pass resolutions against us in 1971 when, when the people of Bangladesh were being plundered and raped and murdered at that point of time when we were liberating Pakistan, you tried to pass a resolution against us. And while UK and France abstained, Russia vetoed it. So I never forget my country's history. And I truly believe that a great country like India will look out for itself. And I'm completely a believer in the recalibration of the world order. And while I condemn the casualties in Ukraine, I think we are doing a damn good thing and I'm proud of my country for standing up for itself. And, and that's my response to you, because that is our position. So please don't tell me my country has not taken a position. It has taken a position. I'd now like to go back to Abdul. I have the line back with him. Abdul, the issue is about the, issue is about the new world order, please. Your response.